In this video, we are talking about the product rule of logarithms. And product just means multiply. So this rule is all about what do you do when you see a log to any base of something that's being multiplied. So it could be two variables that are being multiplied, it could be two numbers, it could be a number and a variable, it could be three numbers or four numbers. So, when you see multiplication in your logarithm, all you have to do is sort of separate whatever is being multiplied. So in this case, we've got an x and a y being multiplied. So we would separate them into two different logarithms. The first one would be log to the same base from the question of whatever the first thing was in your brackets. And then you add on the logarithm to the same base as the question of whatever the second thing is in your brackets. So let's do an example so you can see how it works a little bit better. So let's do log of 2 times 3. That would be log of 2 plus log of 3. So if ever you see a base that's not written, just assume that it's base 10. The rule of logarithms is, if there's no base, let it be base 10. So let's do another one. Let's say we had log of 3x. That would be, let's make it a base this time, let's say 4. That would be log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of x. Let's do one where there's three things being multiplied. If it was log base 2 of 64 times x times y, that would just be log base 2 of 64 plus log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. Log base 2 of 64 2 to the power of what exponent equals 64, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so it would be 2 to the power of 6 equals 64. And you can verify that on your calculator if you go 2 and then hit the exponent button of 6. It should equal 64. So we can cross this out and put 6, and then our log would simplify down to 6 plus log 2 of x plus log 2 of y. Sometimes you'll have to go the other way. You'll see a log that's all split up, and the question will say write it as a single logarithm. So let's say you had um, log base 5 of x plus log base 5 of y plus log base 5 of z. All you need to do is write down log of the same base and multiply x times y times z. So that would just be log x, y, z, something like that. You are also going to see questions where there's the product rule, the subtraction, where we use subtraction to represent division, and the product rule shown by addition all at once. So let's do one where you see also the division rule, which is where you use subtraction. We had log base p of q plus log base p of x minus log base p of w. That would be, these two are being added, so there's our product rule. Log base p of q times x. This one is being subtracted, that's our division rule. 
So the Qx will be over W. You get log P of Qx over W. You might also see something like log 2. So again, if you don't see the base written, just assume the base is 10. Plus 2 log 3. Well, first we need to use the product rule. That 2 really belongs up here as the exponent on 3. This is really log 2 plus log 3 squared. So combine those. That will be log 2 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9 times 2 would be 18. So we can write that as log of 18.